Hello everyone this is Dr Wood speaking today in this video i'll be giving an overall view on covid-19 and what all things we can do to prevent this disease Novel coronavirus 2019 belongs to the group of viruses known as coronaviruses which causes covid-19 or coronavirus disease 2019 The word corona in latin means a crown which is symbolic to the spike proteins present on the virus membrane There are four groups of coronaviruses which are alpha beta gamma and delta among which beta group is most lethal to humans and covid-19 belongs to the same group well covid-19 is not the first coronavirus disease outbreak in the world there have been two outbreaks in the past the sars outbreak in 2003 in china which had claimed around 800 lives and mers outbreak in 2012 in saudi arabia which had claimed about 900 lives Coronavirus have been known to be present across different organisms in the wild. When humans are in close contact with infected animals, it leads to cross transmission opportunity, paving the way for the virus to infect humans. In the case of COVID-19, research shows that the primary reservoir of novel coronavirus-19 are bats. Also, studies speculate that this virus might have jumped from bats to pangolins, snakes or turtles, then eventually finding a way to humans. Novel coronavirus 19 is also called SARS coronavirus 2. This is because research shows that novel coronavirus 19 is genetically similar to the earlier mentioned SARS coronavirus. There are various ways in which COVID-19 gets transmitted. It is spread through respiratory droplets that come from sneeze or cough and also from vomit or feces from infected people. COVID-19 can also get transmitted when healthy individual touches contaminated surfaces and then goes on to touch their eyes, nose or mouth. Novel coronavirus 19 majorly infects the respiratory system. They do so by binding to ACE2 receptors which are present in the upper respiratory tract. Then this virus goes on to affect the lungs further fueling on to the disease. Generally, it can take up to 1 to 14 days for the symptoms to appear. They include fever and tiredness, cough, difficulty in breathing and sore throat. With that said, it's also possible that an infected person does not show any symptoms at all. A recent case study revealed that an infant is having COVID-19 but is not showing any visible symptoms. So how long can the virus survive outside its host? So the virus is known to survive in airborne droplets for around 3 hours. 24 hours in the case of cardboard paper and fabrics and 72 hours in the case of stainless steel materials such as blades or plastic and glass materials over time when the virus is present outside the body its outer envelope will get denatured by various environmental factors leading to its destruction in the case of novel coronavirus 19 we are yet to know what conditions destroy the virus It's known from SARS coronavirus studies that high temperature and high humidity conditions lead to the elimination of the virus. So how do we control the spread of this disease? The best way to prevent the spread is through social distancing. It would be best if you also covered your face and nose using your elbow or towel while sneezing or coughing. Avoid touching your face. Please ensure frequent hand wash using soap or other detergents. So how do soap molecules kill this virus? Soap molecules contain a hydrophilic head which is attracted to water molecules and a hydrophobic tail which is attracted to lipid molecules. This hydrophobic tail part of the soap molecules gets attracted to the outer envelope of the virus which is made up of lipid molecules. Now this action takes some time to happen which takes around 20 seconds. This is why uh, health professionals recommend a hand wash to be lasting up to 20 seconds. Now finally when you wash off your hands the soap molecules will then pull off this virus envelope leading to the destruction of the virus. So are there any cases of pets getting infected? There have been a few cases where cats and dogs were infected with novel coronavirus 19. This is because as these organisms are also mammals they share the same receptors that we have. So even though we don't we still don't know whether pets can transmit disease to us it's better to take a precautious state and avoid be in contact with pets with that said we would like to thank all the doctors nurses and all the health practitioners who are on the front line battling against this virus and thank you all for watching this video and hope you guys learned something new 
With the number of cases increasing globally, it is important that we are informed and cautious about this novel virus. Stay at home and be safe. Thank you.